What's up, keto people? My cat is right next to the camera, so if it's moving, that's because of him. Uh, anyway, I went to HEB the other day, and you know, I get so much of the same stuff that you could already watch my um, HEB grocery hauls and kind of get a feel for whatever I get. But I was like, you know, I don't think anyone's really shown what is in their pantry or refrigerator. So I said, why not do a video on that? So anyway, I guess I'll start with the pantry. Okay, first off, we'll start with my dog food and, and cat food and all that kind of stuff. Um, which is not important. This is cotton candy from about a month ago when the party was going to migrate to my house and I make cotton, can cotton candy martinis for people. So, I mean, now that's just sitting there. <laughs> I don't even know why it is. I'm a food hoarder because, you know, I spent money on it. I feel like someone's going to eat it. Anyway, okay, <laughs> coming over here, that's coconut oil in the back there. And there's, um, there's these little these chocolates, but I really tend to kind of stay away a little bit from those. Um, there's pecans, almonds, and all this kind of stuff. Back here is um, sugar balls and things for my dad's cake pops um, that he likes. Um, um, this is a cocoa powder. Um, that is actual imperial sugar back there for people that are coming to stay the night that want sugar in their coffee. That's why it's way back there. Um, almond flour, baker's chocolate, um, unsweetened coconut flakes, of course the swerve. Then all of the stuff here that I keep um, in the back um, for whenever I run out of stuff, you know, like the, the sugar-free ketchup, the, well, I don't want to say that, I mean like reduced sugar, no sugar added. Um, uh, what is this? Almond butter, primal kitchen mayo, because you know I don't do regular mayo. Here's some more coconut flour. Um, anyway, some almonds. Um, I do have parm crisps back there and also moon cheese because once again, I'm a hoarder, but I didn't really eat that stuff. I mean, it was a fad. I got it and then I was sorry I spent money on it. So now it's just sitting back there. Um, this is sesame oil, all of my Primal Kitchen stuff. Um, let me see, paste, some more salt. I have this because um, I used to eat peanut butter and now I've figured that it's not really that great for you on, um, at least for strict keto, so I don't. This is Chalk Zero um, uh, maple pecan syrup that I will use like once every three or four months when I do make pancakes. Here are these um, Quest protein chips, which I used to, to eat, um, but then I discovered whey protein isn't really the best um, for you on this diet either. So anyway, so moving up here, um, almond flour, flax seed, the cacao butter, some more um, erythritol and all that kind of stuff. Some, um, what do you call these? Vegetables. <laughs> some of this for the chicken crust pizza, um, some tomato stuff, some trolley stuff, flackers, which I bought one time and then I just never didn't really use, unflavored um, gelatin, like a little mustard, some, ah, oh, yeah, 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 these are edible. <laughs> Don't know why they're in there. And then I have some, um, uh, pork rind crumbs and some almond flour um, set aside for some some recipes and stuff. Anyway, pork rind, uh, marinara, some pizza sauce, beef broth, which I don't know if that's actually good beef broth or not. I've had it for a while. Um, and then over here, just all the vinegars, coconut liquid aminos in place of soy sauce, um, and then some tomato juice and some some all all this stuff back here for Bloody Marys for my buddy. Um, that I, I I don't know why I still have. Um, and then up here is all the bad stuff for, for my people that come over and, you know, for all the mixers and stuff that they want to have. I don't touch those. Anyway, so there's my pantry. Making this quick. Butter, guacamole, you know, almond, almond, whatever this is, unsweetened. This is actually Baja sauce that I made. It's not this because this is bad. Um, it's like a Baja sauce, you know, that you get from Taco Bell. Um, anyway, so I use that for certain things. Um, olives, of course, my, my good dressings, lime juice to put in like tonic water, diet tonic water. Um, of course, the mayo, um, jalapenos, because I have that with everything. Um, soy sauces, all this kind of stuff. I do have this back here. I don't know why I keep it. It's primarily for people that come over because this Sweet Baby Ray stuff, um, it's, oh, let me see here. Yeah, it has soybean oil in it. So, sorry if you hear that. That's my dog in the background. Then down here, once again, this is for whenever people come over and I get salads and they are dying because they don't want Primal Kitchen. I don't want to give it to them anyway because it's like seven bucks. Down here, some type diet tonic water. So, of course, some more Bloody Mary stuff for my buddies. Um, here's some already made up deviled eggs. Of course, all I have in here is pretty much lettuce and stuff. All of this is meats and cheeses. Right here, I'm going over to my parents' house today, and um, so I'm bringing them ready whip. But you know, if you look at the ready whip and 
ingredients. Not good. Sugar and maltodextrin and stuff. But oh guys, H-E-B has their hatch um, peppers um, out and their cheese is phenomenal. And some strawberries for them. I don't really have them. Here's some sausage. Here's my homemade thousand dollar dressing, which is phenomenal. Some stuffed olives, blah, blah, blah. That's some coconut milk in the back there and Parmesan cheese. Up here, garlic. Power Zero that I had in here forever. Guys, if you're in, in the South, try to get this. There is no um, sugar in these. I got them at Kroger's. Um, up here, just some dill pickles, some bai, some rails back there, some of this um, tomatillo sauce. Um, I do still have some um, G. Hughes um, barbecue sauce back there, just in case I'm desperate, but I, you really shouldn't have it with the cornstarch. Anyway, um, some more pizza sauce, some jalapenos, heavy whipping cream. That back there is ginger liqueur, which I am not throwing away because it was way too expensive, um, but that's for my pear um, martinis that I got from Spago's this one time. Oh, so fabulous. Ginger and pear. Oh, great. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is stuff that, um, my buddy drinks, so I don't drink that. And then some extra stuff. Okay. Moving on to the freezer. Um, chicken tenderloins. Um, this is an omelet from Schwann's that I, I've had here. Once again, I'm a food hoarder, but you know, you really shouldn't eat it in, once I've read the ingredients on it. So I'm just having it here in case people want it when they come over. Um, chopped green peppers. Down here, um, I've had these for a while, but um, if you see, let's see here, there's cornstarch, so not really good. This is my leftover London broil, which I'm gonna make for more pizza rolls. Here is some cube steaks, some broccoli, and then down there is some green beans with bacon and um, some chicken wings. And then um, right back there is um, here is, there's a keto kitchen that's close by and they make um, tamales, but anyway, um, cauliflower, some more veggies, and then up here, my two things of ground beef. Anyway, that's okay it. guys, so that was my fridge and my pantry. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. I will see you guys next time.